the two squarest guys to ever write and direct an orgy movie. There's no orgies in our world. That's why we thought it'd be funny because it would be impossible for guys like us. And we'd friends heard of from friends that they'd been to a party where something had actually really? happened. And we were like, seriously? And we were like, this is a full blown orgy. We're like, no, no way, man. That would yeah. never, ever happen. So we're like, well, what if it did? Like, well, uh, that's it's a good jumping off point for a movie. Yeah. That's it's, a good, yeah. Stories would come out of the woodwork about friends and friends of friends. Yeah. And for a while, it felt like we were the only guys in the world that weren't participating in orgies and threesomes and group sex. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, you correct in art what you can't do in life. So we made the orgy movie did, for all those people that aren't having orgies. Yeah. So they were telling me a little bit about the actual filming of the orgy scene. Who was? From, like all the all the actors uh, coming through. <laughs> So from your guys' standpoint, because you're kind of like on the outside looking in, watching what's going on, I mean, yes. how did that like transpire? Were you just like, oh my God, like couldn't believe what was going on? Were there great bits that you got that you didn't think you would get? Like, tell me a little bit about the that. The actors scene. were so game. They, mm -hmm. they never blinked in every, every scene. We got so much comedy. That's the thing is, you'll watch it and, and maybe there'll be people, I'm sure it's, it's an attractive group of folks, but I, it, it to me does not play as sexy. It plays as... Mm -hmm. Super comedic, hopefully. So I think it plays as sexy. Maybe it's sexy. Maybe it's sexy too. It depends on what the piece is. That's true. <laughs> we made two different movies. Yeah. I know. Like, this clearly. Is the sexiest thing ever. Like, it's hilarious. It's both. It's both. Somewhere it's in both. the middle. That's yeah. it. Yeah. They were the guys were telling me about socks that they had to wear and things like that. The special socks. Special socks. Not for the feet. <laughs> not, not for Those the feet. Those other kinds. You could of wear socks. them down there, but they would look weird. Yeah. <laughs> they were argyle, curiously enough. Are you guys working on any new projects? A couple after of this? top secret okay. things, and then uh, we're. So we're writing a movie with Judd Apatow. Mm, tell story. me about that. Uh, it's kind of, we can only tell you the title. Okay, what is it? It's called Do Gooders. Okay. The rest is up to people's imagination. And, and why should people go see this movie? This movie, it's like if you want a, a, a summer fun romp. Yep. And it's kind of a, it's like we've had like the guys movies like The Hangover and the girls movies like Bridesmaids, which we consulted on as well. So this is kind of like the meeting of the sex oh. at the end of the summer. The co-ed sex comedy. What did you guys think about Bridesmaids? I mean, did you it think it came fun. out amazing? Yeah, we it. were proud. It was very yeah. exciting. Like, when you work on things, uh, you know, when we yeah. were a very small part of it, but we were just uh, consultants, mm -hmm. so we, we helped out here and there, and, uh, and and that was Judd and Paul Feig and Annie and Chris and the whole team. It came out awesome. We just had a feeling as you started yeah. to see it, like, whoa, this is going to this is gonna work. Yeah, yeah. And super it just, special. It just got better and Kristen's better. Kristen's pretty awesome, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, oh, she's, they're amazing. Yeah.